Hello, and welcome back to Advanced Concepts, where today we start the famous Advanced Brain Movement entry, which I have seen in multiple times in chat. This has been a highly recommended uh, part of this hold. People have said if you're going to play anything from Advanced Concepts, play this. So, well, we'll see. There's, the hype is strong, but will it live up to it? I'm sure it will. All, all, I sh all of these have been really educational, so I'm sure this one will be no exception. Uh, obviously, because uh, monsters prefer orthogonal to diagonal moves while brained, there's no way to prevent the roach from stepping on this, which means that I have to die in the hub. That's embarrassing. Um, I have to come out of, from this way. Also because of the ore mites and the bomb, I can't get through there, but getting back is trivial. And from here, well, I mean, I can just wait here and just kill the roach that way. So yeah, it's not an issue at all. All right. Uh, what do these do? Same deals to prevent me from exiting the level early, I guess? Shortcut entrance. Please unlock this route from the main entrance. Uh, I'll be good, and I will not just go in there and see what happens. I'm probably going to be blocked off by a green door if I try that anyway, but... Hi, TF Murphy. Alright, advanced brain movement. As the brain senses its prey, every monster in the vicinity is directed towards the target without mercy. But not all of the dungeon denizens follow the brain's orders in the same way. With the increasing number of distractions and hazards found within the depths, predicting a monster's path with accuracy becomes even more important and difficult. Covering the flight of roach queens, the stubbornness of golems, the increasingly complex goblins, and much more, this is the Advanced Brain Movement Annex. Okay. I'm always suspicious when something like that happens. Not that it would matter if I could destroy the wall or not. Uh, I got some funky lighting going on here. Uh, the light in the training portions of this level has been artificially lowered to highlight the training rooms. Oh, well, there we go. Lit areas serve to direct your attention to important areas and their interactions. It is advised that you familiarize yourself with how the various creatures and entities act without the help of a brain before proceeding further. Basic knowledge as such will be assumed from here on. Okay, so we've already done roach queens, we've already done goblins, we've already done roaches and brains, and we've already done seep. I'm trying to think what mon what brained monsters. Uh, we haven't done golems, and I'm pretty sure there's a golem level, but uh, I'm familiar enough with golem movement. I'm not too worried about it. Information room: brain invisible obstacles. Oh, this is going all out. We're even getting the the labels here. Okay, so this character mimic. Okay, so you're not going to move. You exist to demonstrate swords. Okay. And this has to be killed using the mimic potion. Alright, it looks like there's not a whole lot to this. Brains function by working... Uh, sorry. Not a whole lot in the sense that this will be an easy room to solve, but that's not the point. <laughs> this is not a puzzle room. Uh, brains function by working out the quickest way to... The quickest way to you from any square. However, while they are good at navigating those paths, there are a number of objects that they do not consider to be obstacles, even though many monsters cannot walk over them. Um, I, f I feel like there's something quite not something not quite right with this. Uh, there are a number of objects that they do not consider to be obstacles. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's like swords, for example. They they can't walk through swords. But they also don't consider the sword to be an obstacle, so double negative tripping me up. Okay. We call these brain invisible obstacles. This room will have a sample of them to demonstrate the concept. Wait. Wait, yes, okay, yeah, that, again, that makes sense. Uh, yep. Yeah. Wait on each pressure plate for the roaches to come to you to see how they react to each obstacle. Well, that sounds like a way to get a low score. But let's do it. Force arrows are brain visible obstacles, and a brain. Will not attempt to direct a monster over it. 
Ortho squares are invisible to brains, however, and the brains will happily send a monster down a such a path that is blocked in this manner. So this roach comes here. Uh, we saw this with the, the brain roaches in the the roach and brain annex already. This one, however, is going to go around this way, unless I was standing on this arrow, in which case it would come up this way. So we can do this. Uh, would I have time to kill this one? I might have if I was already in position. But... Bombs, potions, and scrolls are all brain visible obstacles. Yes, and scrolls in particular are kind of a weird one. Like the only monsters that can't go over scrolls are serpents and brains, oddly enough. And by brains, I mean the brain path map sees it as an obstacle. I think I think you could probably push a brain through a scroll. And other serpent types, like rattlesnakes and adders, can go across scrolls. I'm pretty sure it's just serpents that can't for some reason. One of those weird things. So yes, bombs, potions, and scrolls are brain visible obstacles. Swords are brain invisible though. This includes your own sword. Right. Which is why if I were to step back here, my sword wouldn't be blocking off this path. They would still see the brain path yet to me. Also note that most monsters can move over scrolls, uh, so it's only when they're brain that they'll go around them. Yeah, that's basically what I was saying. So if I wait here like I'm supposed to, uh, I suppose I can draw these out in advance. It will not. You'll see bomb is an obstacle, it'll go around. The sword is not an obstacle. It will, well, not a not a visible obstacle, so it'll it'll end up here. You, however, will go here, because the scroll is an obstacle to the brain, and then the potion is an obstacle to the brain as well. And most monsters can't step over potions, but uh, I think I mentioned this before, guards and slayers can. So that's, uh, that's another random quirk. Yeah, so I just wait here and this happens. Uh, oh, I can't kill it. Okay. I'm gonna have to do it eventually. Might as well. Evil eyes, like the large majority of enemies, are brain invisible obstacles. Monsters can't normally walk over other monsters. But it's worth noting that rubble left by dead rock golems are, in fact, visible obstacles to brains. Yeah. Yeah, dealing with hordes of brain golems is really weird for that reason. Because their path map changes every time you kill something. So here, what's going to happen? You will try to go this way, because you expect that the monster will eventually move. And interestingly, like, brains can be, walls, can be used as walls for that reason as well. So you're expecting that this monster is eventually going to move, but it's not, so you're just going to sit there. You, however, see this mirror, and you're going to go around because the mirror is an obstacle. Phew. Like so. I could shatter that mirror, but I'll, I'll be good. While the bodies and tail of serpent-type monsters are visible as obstacles, the head of all serpents are invisible to brains. Uh, yeah, that's, again, kind of rather arbitrary, but... You know, I guess, like, monsters... I say it's arbitrary, actually it does kind of make some degree of sense. Except the opposite of sense. Because the the monster is moving, so it expects that it will eventually move, but they can also be really long, so it doesn't know how long it's going to take the tail to finish moving out of the way. But you'd think then it would be the tip of the tail that wouldn't be an obstacle. I guess I guess they just wanted to arbitrarily make a distinction, so they chose the head. But yes, yeah, so what's going to happen here, this roach is going to go here, this roach is going to go around. Just like that. <laughs> Alright, so that's the, uh, the very basics. Information room, brained movement preferences. Okay, ah, this is, how, this is for getting in. Uh, and out, and this is for skipping once we've already completed the room. Okay. You have already seen that a brain roach will want to move horizontally or vertically to reach the diagonal line leading to you. Let's look at this movement preference in more detail. A brain monster attempts to pick the direction that will minimize the distance between you and it as calculated by the brain. However, when multiple squares around it are the same distance from you, it must choose between them. 
Of course. The order of directions that a brained monster gives priority to are north, west. I do not know that. Okay. North, west, east, south. Wait. Northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast. Wait is a special case which will be covered in a later room. Yeah. Yeah, and I already know from the other the other annex that well I'll let it cover it in another room, but yeah, I've already learned in this hold what that's all about. When choosing between east and south, the roach will choose to go east. Okay, so this is what it means. Northwest, east, south. So it's just gonna show each of these. Okay, so let's actually calculate this then. When choosing between these two, it will choose this square, I believe. Yep. Not gonna bother reading all of these. Uh, here, choosing between here and here, uh, it will choose this square. Well. Oh. Right. Here, north. Yep, north diagonal. Here, north. Okay, this is a good little room. Uh, west. North. And north. In general, a brain monster will not wish to move diagonally unless it really is the best choice, and will choose directions towards the north and west over those to the south and east. This preference can end being very important. Challenge room. Entrance exam. Okay, so it looks like this is how this is going to be set up. I have a couple of puzzles, and then I have some sort of test to make sure I understood everything. Conquer token. Interesting. Uh, whoops. What, what died? Uh, the golem there. Is that... that's the only thing that's happening? Character mimic 96. Yeah, you're not gonna, not gonna turn. Okay. Now you must put these basic ideas into practice. Do not be deterred. Experimenting and working out why things are happening in a certain way are useful aids to learning. You will find the concepts covered previously to be important for the rest of the level. Okay. Now uh, it looks like I have four different tests. Okay, good. We got a four four questions on this test. Let's get to it. Brain movement preferences. When given an equal choice, brain roaches prefer northerly moves to southerly ones. So what's going on here? I need to hit this and this. Um. What does this do? Okay, okay, okay. That's how this is gonna work. Right, I'm not actually doing anything in here. What I'm doing... Because I can just hit these both myself. Yeah. And because I can hit these both myself... Wait, I, I'm really confused by the purpose of this, of this room. There's, there's no loss condition, right, for clicking on these. I just, I, I just get to do this, and then you. We'll now go here, 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 be stuck, and that'll deal with you. Yeah. Which feels to me like that's not using the point that it's supposed to be teaching me at all, so I'm confused. Yeah, because what's going to happen here is I've cut the path off, so it's going to act unbrained and it's just going to step on there. I mean, it's there for a reason. 
brain invisible obstacles. If the brain cannot find a path to you, then a roach will use its own instincts. You will have to identify which obstacle... Which obstacles are invisible to brains here? Aha! I'm not so clever after all. This closes all of these. Okay, so that's why I can't just step on these. Okay, fine. So I'm going to be good, and I'm going to... Yeah. Well, that makes me happy. I'm glad that it wasn't... It wasn't that broken. There's, there's actually purpose to this. Okay, so putting this mirror here. You will go orthogonally here, given a choice. You're trying to get to here. Right, this is the choke point, so I can measure it from here. This and this are equivalent to getting to here at the same amount of time. This and this are equivalent. So you will go up this way. From here, you will step on that. Okay. Uh, I'm probably going to need both of these. Let's just get them somewhere around here until I figure this out. Out. So the problem here is that you're going to keep moving north. So from here... harder. Well, if I put, let's see, if I put it both here, what happens? More accurately, I guess. I put one mirror here. That means this path is still the same. Yeah, it doesn't actually do anything for me. Here, I don't have to worry about it. So all I need to do, I need to get you around this, probably. So you come from here. And if I put an obstacle here, you will go north. If I put an obstacle here and here, you will go south. If you go south, You'll then go here, and then you'll go north again. Hmm. Like, this was so easy, and this is not. Okay, well, let's see. If I put one here... Two here doesn't do anything good for me because then you're just going to go straight to here and then you're going to go up. Okay, that's how it goes. If I do that. If I do this, you're going to go straight until you get here, then you'll go south. Here you go straight, straight south. Okay. Pretty sure that's it. I guess actually I can be testing these, can't I? Yeah. Brain invisible obstacles. If the brain cannot find a path to you, then Roach will use his own instincts. Right? Oops, let's uh, not hit any orbs if we don't have to. Okay, so yeah, there's nothing I can do here, so I just need to... Uh, 
uh, figure out which ones are obstacles and which are not. Okay, well this one's clear. So that's our first target. That's clear. Uh, Trapdoor is clear. Tunnel is not. Monster is clear. Monster remains are not. How do I kill this at the end though? Here, scroll is not clear, but the sword is. So yeah, the brain sees a path to me. Oh, I guess that's what the, the briar is for. The briar is for clearing out everything else. At the end, okay. I'm pretty sure that's going to work. Uh, let's just test it again just to make sure. Go around. Go around. There we go. Okay. Changing the path. There's a difference between a path that is blocked by a brain invisible obstacle and one that is blocked by a visible obstacle. A brain roach won't go all the way up to a visible obstacle if it knows it cannot get something. Alright, so not a lot I can do, right? I can do that, I can do that. Hmm. I'll toggle these things. I can also kill a brain to get through here if I wanted to. So that I can kill some brains and not others. So you're gonna go straight here. Okay, so that's what it's saying. Here, it's going to see that this is... The brains are not obstacles, so it's going to go up to here. And from here, it's going to try to do this. That's no good. But if we open it, if we open this door... Now it doesn't see an obstacle at all. So now it's going to go straight here, and then if we'll go north. I want to kill this one. I want to kill this one and this one. That's what I want to do. And that way you'll go. So from, you'll go from here, then you'll go up like this. Well, you'll go. You'll go here, then you'll go like this. Oh, broken wall. I'm not going to touch that. You'll see that... Oh. Okay, I might be touching that. Uh, I just assume all of these have to be hit, right? Yeah. Okay, if I do that... Okay, I think I just kill the top brain and then it'll run here. From here, it will go north because it won't know what to do. From... Right, it won't know what to do because it'll be trying to move... It'll be trying to move here. Then here. Then here. And it'll choose north over south. So kill the north one and then it'll get through. Kill the north again. So that it stays in that line. Here it'll just go straight and then it'll go diagonally like that through here. So let's open that. Uh, this does open all these doors, okay. So I don't have to worry about killing the brains. Uh, this will take care of it. And from here, we want this one open. We want this one open, but we don't kill this brain because we want it to go ultimately through here. I think that's what we want. 
think this will work. because it's trying to get through here. Okay. Nope, I screwed this one up. Do that. And by switching those doors, it's now going to go here. Is it ever going to go south? I don't think it is. Actually, I don't think that's going to work at all. Hmm. Yeah, now it's just going to go north. That's what I was expecting, but I didn't hit this. It has to end here. So how do I get it to hit this first? I have to take out that wall and not that. Okay. So we want all of those open. Do that. 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 I think that should get me everything I need done here. Alright. So now, here you go straight, from here you choose north, from here you get around. Uh, here you go orthogonal as long as possible until you get here. Then you're trying to go through the brain, so you take the diagonal here. You're stuck here. The two options. This will be close. This will be closer than this. So you'll go here. Then you'll get around, then you'll go straight because you're trying to get through here, go north, then you'll want to go that way, uh, or that way, it's blocked, you'll go north, north, okay, I think that'll do it. What a weird room. Ah, oh, this is, this is going to be like a six or seven part of, uh, entry, isn't it? Guiding through brain invisible obstacles. Brained enemies can get stuck easily against brain invisible obstacles. Remember that they want to decrease the distance first. Failing that, they will still prefer northwesterly movements. Okay, well, obviously, we have to kill those four brains. Here, you're going to go north. And then I think we just do a diagonal until we get to here, and then you'll go up, and then we'll do a diagonal again. Something like... Alright, killing that one's fine because we're not going to make a path all the way through. Oops. There we go. That should do it. Alright. So this way you're gonna go all the way to here, then you're gonna try to go north whenever you get stuck by a rain obstacle. This is closer, 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 closer. Here, you're gonna get brained again, so you're gonna get stuck by the brains, so you're gonna keep going north until you get to here. And then you're gonna go this way, and yeah, that should do it. Alright. Did I pass the exam? Watching the southernmost one. Yep, looks like it. Everything is open. Okay. Now I wait for the briar to handle everything else. I like watching briar. I just let it fill up, fill up the room. 
Okay, that was an exam. Aha, so this, I suspect, is where I would have ended up if I hadn't come through here first. Yeah. This staircase will return to the level hub without completing this training. Ether will return to the main hub, unamused. Yeah, so we're back here. Buther took the shortcut entrance, returning to the center of the Advanced Brain Movement Annex. Yep, yeah, there we are. Behind that little green door. Okay, so we have the whole world opening up to us now, don't we? The remaining subtopics of training may be experienced in any order. However, it is advised you cover those to the south of the level first and wake your way north. Oh, what's north? North. Further training areas, main level exit. Okay. East. Learn how brains affect monsters that use direct movement, like rock golems, wubbas, and gel babies. South. Training area on the weight command, training area on decoys and stalwarts, training area on invisibility. Well, those sound like a bunch of fun things. Uh, but this has been half an hour. And I suspect each of these wings is probably going to take at least an entire episode. So... Hmm... I mean, I only did three rooms, although this was kind of like four rooms in one. Uh, it's okay, we'll have a shorter episode. A uh, shorter episode today, and we will go to the southern portion of Advanced Brain Movement uh, in the next episode. I will see you then.